everybody, I'm Chef Maria, the fit foodie and founder of Grow Green Industries. And today I'm in the kitchen with two lovely ladies that have a wealth of food knowledge. We are already, we're ready to go. We're so excited. I'm here with Chef Michelle Curry. She is the director of food and nutrition for South Pasadena. And I have Wanda Grant here. She is the doyen, I will say, <laughs> of the culinary world as it pertains to school nutrition with over 35 years of experience. So thank you, ladies. Well, thank you. For being yeah. here. We're here at the Melissa's Kitchen. And as you can see, we've got all of these beautiful produce items in front of us. Today, we're really talking about how to get creative in the school kitchen. Now, I wanna be honest, okay? I know that there are limitations, and as much as you would like to be creative and have all day long to cook, I know that sometimes there are issues around that. So maybe we can talk about that a little bit and see if we can overcome them. Well, we know in schools that when our employees go to put a recipe together, they want it simple. Yeah. They sure. want it three or four Who items doesn't, right? <laughs> and mix it up and serve it. Okay. So the easier we can make it and the more visible we can make it, the better. Mm -hmm. Well, and it has to be something the students really enjoy because if they get that um, feedback, the positive feedback, then they want to do it again. Then the work is worth it. And I like, you know, I love color. So for me, just having that pop of color that you can add to the hummus and maybe even chop a little on top to show them what's inside yeah, absolutely. works really well. Yeah, when you're serving something, you want it to, it, I mean, hummus in itself can be very bland. And if you serve it with celery, carrots, everything's kind of the same. So having that color would be Yeah, good. so we'll give it a pop. Okay, well, let's make some. Let's show everybody how easy it is to make this. and. The, the cool thing too is we're gonna extend the shelf life of the hummus with our Eat Fresh product. This is an all natural uh, antimicrobial that when we add it to it, will extend the shelf life up to 200% longer and it's super easy to use, so we'll show that too. So Michelle, since you're standing next to the food processor, we're gonna orchestrate this together. So we're gonna start with a can of garbanzo beans. And when you use garbanzo beans, it's always a good idea to give them a quick rinse because they usually process them with a lot of sodium, and I understand you guys are all watching your sodium intake, which is important for kids too. So give those a quick rinse. And, and, I, and I would like to say that we can now get our, our gabonzo beans as a USDA commodity brown box, which that really saves us a lot of oh, money. Oh, that's fantastic. So we'll add about a tablespoon of our sesame tahini. Now sesame tahini is just crushed sesame seeds. Uh, a great source of good quality plant-based fats, and we need those, kids need those for their de developing minds and their bodies. So we're gonna add that in, and then Michelle, just about a tablespoon or two of the virgin, extra virgin olive oil would be perfect. Shall I eye this? Yeah, just eyeball it. And then Wanda, will you do the honors? We're gonna cut this, squeeze that in there, you can help well, I'll do the cutting, you wanna... but, but I know someone else is going to do the squeezing. Okay. <laughs> Let's try and watch out for the pits there. And then I always like to use a little bit of the zest. You can get the zest in there. And when you clean your vegetables and fruits properly with the Eat Safe, this will help to remove any of the wax residue, uh, the pesticide residue that may be on there, and even the debris that can carry foodborne illness. We want to make sure that the surfaces of all of our fresh produce is washed properly. Let's get some garlic in there. And while I do the garlic, what do you guys think? We can add artichokes, we can add the avocado, the red pepper. Should we do the, the artichokes for today? Let's or do the do a artichoke, little combination? because that's typically something we don't make in school. Okay. But I think the red pepper or the uh, tomato is something that is easily sourced uh, by our food service director. Michelle, why don't you grab the, the artichokes? We've got that okay. whole can that we drained. You can add that all in there, all of them. And I'm gonna smash the garlic here and you can add that in. We're gonna use two cloves. I think now all we need is a little salt and pepper. Now, um, I'm, we're gonna add in the Eat Fresh, and that's gonna help cut back, so just, that's all the salt we need. Just a little bit, about a, a teaspoon. And we're gonna put in, the Eat Fresh comes with a one ounce scoop, and I'm literally gonna use 
maybe not even a quarter of that. This will help this hummus last for about two weeks, whereas normally you would only be able to have it for about a week. So we're getting, you know, an extra week out of that. And I think that's really important from what I'm hearing as far as food prep. The more efficient we can be, the better, right? Absolutely. And if we were to use avocado, it would keep it from turning brown. Exactly, yes. So it's got the anti-browning. So why don't you add just a little quick hit of the water in there and then we'll pulse that and let's see what it looks like. So isn't that gorgeous? I mean, you could create a little souffle cup full, mm -hmm. add some red pepper, some carrots, some celery, just an assortment of different vegetables to dip. And there you've got a great source of protein, good fats, good quality carbohydrates, your fresh veggies. I think that's awesome. That's beautiful. Should what we try a, it? What an idea just to take the ranch dressing off for a half a day and put <laughs> right? on the hummus. A lot more benefit from this. Mmm. Okay. So tasty. Me too. Me too. I love that. So. Super easy to get creative Delicious. in the kitchen. Don't go away, we've got another recipe.